Well, I went to the theater again. Nice. And saw The Iron Claw. Ooh. Oh, The Iron Claw. Okay. Yes. Well, it's certainly not happy. Uh, Ooh. And unfortunately, it was shut out of the Academy Awards. Mm. It was listed as a National Board of Review's top 10 of the year. It's about a true story that is incredibly sad. So oh, no. it makes sense that the movie is incredibly sad. The Von Erich wrestling family, which kind of came to prominence. Well, I mean, the dad was wrestling earlier, obviously, but then what this is about is his, in the movie Four Sons, in reality there were five, and in the kind of late 70s, early 80s, they're finally becoming adults and having some success, and then also having some tragedies. Oh, geez, okay. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that fifth son was cut was just another tragedy that oh, was cut. No. So it's really incredibly sad. Great performances you know, in this story um, from Zac Efron and Jeremy Allen White and the dad, Holt McCallany, as well as the mom, Maura Tierney. It's a crazy story about this family that's really very sad to watch. And the director who did Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene, he's, uh, he's quite good, so it's... It's very good if you're willing to go through it. Oh, okay. That's the review that I saw. I saw someone like, I'm going to go see Iron Clots about wrestling and guys. And then, you know, cut to immediately him coming out of the room. <laughs> I'm going to call my brother. Yeah. I think I saw that. <laughs> yeah. Because the trailer is not really indicating that it's that much of a heart wrenching situation. Um, The trailer gives you a little bit of a clue, I think. But yes, it doesn't reveal that it's basically just all heart wrenching. Oh. And, you know, they have moments that are good. But they're quickly eclipsed or, you know, really, you don't get to savor them very much. Uh, I mean, it's funny, the one brother, Jeremy Allen White, as uh, Carrie, he did win a national championship in wrestling at some point. Oh, wow. And then immediately had a motorcycle accident. I mean, that night. What? <laughs> and lost his foot. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You need that in wrestling. Uh, so, the... I mean, it's wild. They, you know, obviously dramatized this, uh, him kind of getting back in the ring with his brother, uh, Zach Efron, and getting him right. And he really does. He then has not more success, but like kind of in the heyday of wrestling of the 80s. Because, uh, you know, national televising, I think, not changed things, but it also consolidated. There were so many different, you know, federations. So Kerry did have some real success, even unfortunately after this accident. Wow. Um, however, then he didn't feel good about that later uh so he oh geez yeah so unfortunately he is no longer with us Oof. so yeah it's like well that was a great moment and then not so great oh uh, gosh yeah so it is quite good but again if you're willing to go through it well i i remember seeing press about zach efron because you know he will do extremes for roles physically and people are like what is going on with him yeah he looks very different so yeah. built out Oof, wow. You the first shot is him getting out of bed like in the morning and it's just, like on his body and you're like, This is a different Zach than we've seen before. I mean you've seen him in shape, obviously, a million mm. times, but they're like, Oh wow, you are a different person. Yeah, he's super bulked up. Yeah, it's it's pretty incredible. Um it's you know, it's unfortunately he's a little bit more bulked up than the rest of his brothers. But uh, you know, whatever. They're in good shape too, it's fine. They talk about that because also uh they had you know, there's a couple real wrestlers sprinkled in there and then it's obviously about a real story and about all these real things. So they had real wrestling consultants in there and they're like, Wow, these guys really went for it. They did what they were supposed to do. It's incredible the work they did and you know, some of the real moves that you're seeing and you know, Zach is constantly, you know, jumping off the top rope. So then also just talking about I think I forget which actor I read that said this, but like he was such an inspiration because he'd be, you know, we're doing these moves, we're doing these practices, and they'd be like, all right, I got to get a quick meal in. Because, you know, when you're at that level of bulk, like you got to eat a ton too. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. yeah, you got to be constantly feeding that furnace. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to see because it's like, wow, this is for wrestling, which is not entirely real. They really went for it. Wow, interesting. 